you are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life. You are responsible. So if it isn't flowing, you don't get mad at the pastor. You don't get mad at the members. You don't get mad at your boss. You check you. And that's one of the things I told you last week. Adrian taught me 15 years ago. He didn't say, Rod, you don't like a bull. Ain't nobody like being around you. So I had to get to work on me. So you are responsible for the flow of favor in your life. Write these scriptures down. 1 Samuel chapter 2 and 26 and Luke chapter 2 and 52. 1 Samuel chapter 2 and 26. Luke chapter 2 and 52. I told you last week. Both of them said Samuel and Jesus grew in favor with God and man. Notice in the text it says they grew. Which means that favor has levels. And it says they grew. It didn't say God grew them. It says they grew. So they did some things that caused their level of favor in the eyes of God and man to rise. They grew. You are responsible for favor. As you're writing that, here's something you got to understand. Hardship is different from poverty. Not because you go through hardship means that you are in poverty. Now, hardship follows poverty, but it is different from poverty. Because poverty is really a mindset. Hardship is a place in your life where you have no assistance. Hardship is when you have to pay through life and pay everything in life for yourself. That no one comes on the side of you to assist you. No one helps you. No one offers to uh, advance you. No one offers to pay for you. You are simply fighting all by yourself. That's hardship. As much challenge as most of you may be going through in your life, you are still not at the place of hardship. Because you have helpers and you have people who can assist you. 